Hiya, I'm Sandra, the crafty hairdresser for Lisa Horton today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to make this really nice sun catcher today. I was inspired by the card that you just saw. Um, I really quite liked the sort of stained glass look and I thought it would make a really nice uh, sun catcher. Um, if you decided you were going to just make the card as the same kind of scenario apart from you're putting it on a card base as well. So first of all, I'm putting, I'm using, sorry, the Lisa Horton Craft Slimline Beautiful panel, um, which is just stunning. So I'm taping the two dies together so that they won't move. And that is so that I can cut out multiples of the same. So I'm cutting out four. So I'm cutting out two black and two white. The white's quite a heavy cardstock. I'm sure it's Nina, £110. And now I'm using the sort of outside portion just to cut out a bit of acetate. I'm going to cut off a little bit of the acetate so that it's obviously bigger than the inside portion of the panel. But the reason for that is that um, I'm never very confident in just gluing to acetate completely onto a card. I always find it, it comes unstuck a bit. It's probably just the, the adhesive I'm using, but... I would rather have a little bit of cardboard or card, sorry, that I'll be able to adhere to another bit of card as well. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, I've took a mixture of my alcohol markers, just Sharpies mostly, and I think a Pro marker, just to put down a bit of colour, nice warm colours that would be kind of honey toned. I'm going for the colours I've used are a bit stronger than honey toned, but it's because when the light hits the acetate, it goes a bit lighter. Um, and this is just a little trick that I've got where I've got my PVA glue in a little container with a sponge and it just stays in there all the time. And the sponge lets me kind of get the glue onto those little intricate pieces without it going everywhere and oozing out everywhere. And then I'm just using that little bit of card to sort of secure it all down but without getting my fingers in everything. In order to secure the bit of acetate, I'm using just my really small um, double-sided tape. And I'm just putting that around the four edges, the sort of inside edges of it. And then in order to have the, a little hanging part, I'm using a little bit of ribbon and my hot glue right onto the sort of the back piece of the panel. I really love this die set, it's just amazing, it's so intricate, but at the same time it cuts out amazing, honestly, you you would have to um, see it to believe it, it's so easy. A lot of the time if I get intricate dies, I get so impatient and I end up not using them again because it's too much work, but these ones are just so easy. So there I've stuck the bit of acetate on and it, you can see what I mean there. It just doesn't go quite to the edge of the, the card, which means that when I'm sticking the next panel on, there'll be card on card as well, rather than it just going onto the acetate. And that just gives it added security all the way around. And again, just using a bit of paper or card so I don't get my fingers in everything. And again, using a little sponge with a PVA glue. And I'm just putting a little spot on there just to um, stick it down. I'm just taking time to try and line it up as perfectly as I can as well. And now, in all the little bits of honeycomb, I'm using my glossy accents. I'm afraid mine isn't ideal, actually. I had to cut the top of the nozzle off, so it's a bit too chunky. Um, it kept clogging up, and it kind of got past the point of no return, so that's why I've had to do that. But I'll continue using it until it's done. And 
And then normally, um, I put a fair bit in, but then it normally kind of spreads out a little bit as it starts to settle. Now you can see that it's all, I think, um, sort of all the holes all filled with it. And you can really see that stained glass look happening now. And now just my wet glue as well. And this will be to stick on the front panel, I think. Now, actually, the glossy accents, I would like to say that before I've done this part, I actually left that panel to dry for probably about two hours at least. Um, I would even give it even longer if, if it needs it. Because the last thing you want is to start getting things stuck to it and then it'll just not look nice at all. I'm really hoping that you're enjoying this. As I said, you could turn it into a card as well because that's actually where my idea came from. And I'm going to add some sparkle with my Nuvo... No, my sorry. My Spectrum Sparkle Pen. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up if you've liked it. Hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any videos. Head over to Lisa, Cor <laughs> sorry, Lisa Horton Crafts. Um, there's some great videos there from a lot of talented people. And I would just say thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.